Okay, thanks for coming back to Reload Wrap. Today we're going to talk about tourniquet usage and fitting into holsters. Again, we want to thank everybody for stopping by. I remind you that Reload Wrap is made in America and we're proud of that. So what you see here in front of you is a selection of uh, tourniquets. We have a Generation 1 SOFT from TacMed Solutions tourniquet. We got a SOFTW um, TacMed Solutions. This is a Gen 4. This is the newest. And then I got a Gen 7, I believe, CAT tourniquet, which just came in. And so we're talking about uh, how Reload Wrap can handle these as far as EDC components. And as you're familiar with Reload Wrap, as it comes with a holster. And so I've been carrying the Gen 4 uh, SOFTW for several months now without any issues. But let's talk about some things real quick. On here's a Gen 1. You can see it could be a, with the, the wingless, the straps, and everything. But you have this uh, big protrusion here from the Gen 1, which they've rendered obsolete now. But that makes that makes the entire rig super thick. And when I mean thick, I'm talking you're talking two and a half inches wide or whatever. And I, there's no way I could figure out a way to EDC this. So I was like, okay, well this is a uh, early model one, so I got rid of that one. Then I got the cat, and I just wanted you to see that this was a real cat, not a Chinese ripoff from Amazon. I got a cat holster in just now uh, so that I could try it out. And this is my first experience with the cat holster, and they appear to be nicely made uh, military. This is, you know, one of the kits in the military. But this thing is extremely wide. Uh, we're talking uh, approximately two inches at its widest mark. And because of the winglet holder here, to me, this, this kind of renders this unable to be EDC'd. Now, you could carry this in some type of rig, but I mean, just but look how, look how thick and bulky that is. And so uh, this can fit into a reload wrap rig. So again, here's the main body. And we just come around, put a, a, a loose fit on it. And with the loose fit, you can either A, use the top of that as the hold and bring up the bottom, if you will, with the extension straps. Um, I would then take some caps, put the caps on it, and essentially you have the tourniquet that will fit into here. And the benefits here would be that this would give you a clip allowing you to clip it on. However, I consider this way too big for EDC. So let me set that aside. Um, what I have found, however, is in the SOFT wide, look how, I mean, look how thin this is. This is extremely thin. It's just a little over, it's right at an inch. And even on its thinner areas, it's less than an inch wide. And with this one, I got folded up um, pretty thin. Um, this one EDCs quite well. I just wanted you to see that this was an authentic tactical medical solution uh, SOF tourniquet generation four. Um, this carries great. And in fact, we can refit the holster. And the thinner the profile, the more it lends itself to being carried. straighten that up some okay and so you know you got some reinforcement caps i'm going to take that put that there you got the revolver strap that if you wanted to you could kind of put that along the top and kind of help add like the first aid component of that and then you could quickly access this tourniquet if you needed to um, we're working on a separate rig just to make uh, tourniquet use a little bit quicker and we'll talk about this in the future um, but right now, if, if I was EDCing anything, it would be an SOF uh, W TacMed Solutions Gen 4. It's roughly the same price. This was about $28, $29, and that cat was $27 to $29. And this is the one I would do only because it's thin. Uh, you can see they're all roughly about the same length, but by far, this is more superior. Uh, now, on the Gen 4, it came with this, uh, this uh, wingless holder and after sitting on it a few times I broke it 
um, you know, it seems to be pretty cheap, but this really serves no purpose because uh, within the tourniquet, the wingless is held on by that tri-glide there. So after you spin it and lock it into place, you'll have that tri-glide there. And that's really what's holding the wingless. So even though, even though this kind of broke by sitting on it, and of course that would have made it a thicker transition, um, I'm kind of glad it broke because this thing is super thin and it holds right there with that wingless. So that's just to show you a little bit about the reload wrap carrier. In other words, the reload wrap carrier will fit tourniquets. Uh, some tourniquets will lend themselves better to carry or not carry. I don't know how anybody could carry a uh, cat unless it was in its own little kit, which this will be regulated to one of my bailout bags with my truck. This I run in my truck. And, uh, but if I was EDCing something, it would be the uh, new, the Gen 4 SOFT. So thanks for stopping by. A reminder, come to ReloadRap.com to check out anything we have, and you have a great day.